Welcome to Advanced Audit and Assurance AAA for December 2024 exam. Now, for the December 2024 exam, as the final revision section, that we have created the Platinum Questions Pack. And here, I devised the whole AAA syllables from the Platinum Area 1 up to Platinum Area number 16. Now I would say that when AAA examining team sets the exam question, that it's very likely that they'll be basing the latest AAA exam questions on the root questions that I created in my notes here. So for example, I would tell you exactly when you're revising such as the audit committee, it's one of the very topical areas in the AAA exam, that I want you to focus on, not the narrative or the uh, technical narrative part, but um, I want you to focus on the practical application. This, for example, the question called Mackle is the past exam question when the examining team set the question related to all the committee, it's very unlikely that the examining team will ask you, for example, what will be the roles of the audit committee or the composition requirements, for example, including the non-executive directors only, and one of them should have the financial expertise. It's very unlikely that you will see such questions in the AAA exam. But uh, you may be facing questions like, tell me about the pros and cons of setting up the audit committee. Now, when seeing this question, seems to me relatively straightforward, but in fact, the key to pass the AAA exam is all about your writing style. So this means that for this particular type of question, I created my own written questions, answers, and split that into different steps. So you will see in my recording debrief later on, you will see how we construct the answer and why we do it in this way and how many marks that we can get there. So for example, I split the answer, let's say part doc and talking about the pros and cons of establishing an audit committee. I would like to use the four steps approach here, okay? Rather than just give it, the examining team a simple sentence in the AAA exam. So make sure that you notice that the exam technique will be crucial in helping you passing this paper. Now not only for that, so for example, now from audit committee and the second area, fraud, that's very important. Okay, so if we suspect the client's companies involving in fraudulent transactions, it will be the responsibilities of the external auditors. Money laundering, not each and every time it comes up, but if it comes up, it can either be a large requirement, a big question on that, or perhaps as a very small requirement, okay, in the ethics question. The non-compliance very similar to the fraud, and I will show you the summary of the ISA 240 and ISA 250 using my mnemonics as well. Ethics part, yes, several questions may be tested. Auditor's liability, so for example, uh, the area number six, auditor's liability. I would say that very similar to what we've seen in a corporate and business law, which means the F4 paper in the past. However, the exam LinkedIn will not ask you about the detailed cases that existed in law in the AAA paper, but instead, the exam LinkedIn will expect you to comment on, are there any ways that we can reduce the auditor's liabilities? So of course, one of the ways will be to buy the insurance, okay? Uh, so. That's very important. Though. So, exam link team will expect students to focus on the practical application okay, uh, of this topic in the AAA exam. Of course, the platinum area number seven, eight, and nine, 
would be the section B question. So it seems to be relatively straightforward, okay, each and every time, but according to my experience, a lot of students fails the AAA paper because that they did not perform quite well on these topics. It seems to me that it's not quite technically complicated at all when chapter 7 up to chapter 9 are testing. But in fact, students' answer would lack application to the given scenario, and this is highlighted in the examiner's report each and every time as well. But a lot of students performed quite well in the risk question, which means the question 1, so I put that into platinum area number 10 there. So including the business risk and the audit risk and even the risk of material misstatement. I will show you exactly what paragraphs that we need to use and I will show you exactly how do we comment on the materiality at the very first start to make sure that you will get a solid three marks on that. Analytical procedures sometimes test it in the section A, which means the question one, and the, all the evidence in the platinum area number 12, and in the platinum area number 12, uh, I've included, I would say, that six root questions. That when the examining team of AAA sets the exam question, was was surely basing on one of these, I mean, from the past exam. I mean, these are from the past exam questions. And I will tell you exactly how to dig into them. And I will show you my answer as well. Because when reading the examiner's answer, it's, it's like, it's nearly to be perfect, okay? The examining team will never expect students to write in that way, okay, under exam pressure. So I will tell you exactly from a student's point of view of how we construct the answer using different steps in that. The platinum area number 13, review and the audit report stage, would certainly come up each and every time. So review stage, there'll be several circumstances there, and one of them will come up each and every time. Other assignments and the new topic, sustainability, will also be very important. Okay, so make sure that you focus on these areas so you can cover the whole AAA syllabus in detail. Treat them like story, okay, when we go through the case, I will tell you exactly lie by lie of how we think about the issue, of how we link with the international standards and auditing, which means the ISA and the IFIs in much more detail in our course. Now, not only for that, I will also give you my super final revision note. I will give you a summary on risk and a big question two, for example, the ethics and quality controls and a big question three areas and some of the small areas there. And you will see here in this note, unlike in the platinum question pack where I will go through each of the questions in turn but in this note I will be going through for example the format okay so uh, for example when we are talking about the audit risk so I will tell you what paragraph one that we need to write or paragraph two we need to write and then for each of the audit risk in turn I will tell you what circumstance that it may come up and then if this comes up and how we can rise the implications and the reasons behind it and taking evidence from the case and you put these four elements all together, you put all these four elements together and that will be your first sentence and the second sentence and you will get the four marks on this point. Now, not only for that, I will also tell you, for example, it's the common IFRS related issues. If you don't have time to go through the IFRS or if you have sat the SBR paper or the previously P2 paper, corporate reporting, or now it's called strategic uh, business reporting, uh, a few years ago, 
So no worries for that because in my AAA course, I will cover them in just the way that the examining team would set the exam question. Now I will tell you, for example, how the ICE 2 inventories may be tested and you can slot these boxes and mixing them as your answer. Okay, so to show in your answer when answering the audit risk questions and so on. So this note, the super final revision note, was just to summarise from the most recent past exam questions what sort of scenarios that may come up and when it comes up, how we can construct the answer. Okay, combined with the root questions, or we can call it as the platinum questions, and you will surely pass the upcoming sitting AA exam very comfortably. Right then, so um, best of luck with your AAA. APC, accounting for your future.